Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic and today's puzzle. I'm really fascinated. This is a full rank Sudoku. This is a type of puzzle that often appears in national or world championships. Indeed, there was one in the UK championship um, that happened a couple of weeks ago in which, in case you haven't caught up, I came third, which ought to be enough to get me to Toronto because I believe the people who beat me aren't planning to compete. Anyway. Um, there was one of these in that competition. I did solve it, and I think I did anyway. Now, I don't love solving these normally because they're quite... I don't want to say boring. What's the word? Well, they're heavy on administration. You have to be very careful with the ordering. Um, so I'm fascinated that not only has Glipperol created one, it has, by the way, very few clues for a full rank Sudoku. Um, but that we're getting a lot of recommendations of it, which is intriguing. I, I can't wait to see what he's done with the format. Um, because Glipperol was, of course, the solution to Simon's recent and the most frightening name in Sudoku is dot 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 dramatic pause. And I didn't really disagree. Glipperol is a quite frightening name, so I dare say... This will come to haunt me. Um, I don't know what the name Glipperol literally means. It's an anagram of large lip, I can see. Anyway, we, we'll have a look at the rules. I'll explain them to you in a moment. They're quite strange, uh, so do pay attention to that. But first of all, of course, don't forget that already on Patreon we have the Nightmare Pack by Skunk Works. In the next day or so, we're going to be putting up a an easier pack, well, an easier sort of hunt for for kids, for parents to, to explain Sudoku to their kids, for... It's not, it's not simple, but it's, it's easier than, than the Nightmare Pack by a distance. Um, what else have we got going on? Crossword content um, on the channel, of course. Today is Simon's Friday Masterclass. Um, we had a crossword on Wednesday, brilliant one by Io, who then turned up briefly yesterday as a moon of Jupiter, uh, which the Juice mission hopefully has gone off today. I don't know when I'm recording this. Uh, we'll be looking at... Anyway, we will have a look at... Oh, there's also the apps and the merchandise and all that stuff. Check out the links under the puzzle. Um, I didn't have room for the full gas app link yesterday, but it'll be there today. Now... Full rank Sudoku. Normal Sudoku rules apply, so one to nine in every row column, and box normal enough. Considering all rows and columns as nine-digit numbers, read from the direction of the clue, and ranked from lowest one to highest 36, a clue represents where in the ranking that row or column lies. Now, that's not easy to understand, but... Let me, let me put it like this. If this row was 1, 5, 6, 8, 4, 2, 3, 7, 9, you kind of have to see that as a nine-digit number, 156,842,379. And because this has got a 1, that is the lowest number, the lowest nine-digit number read from either end of a row or column in the grid. So from the other end of this row, the number is 973 million, 248,651, which is likely to be the 35th or 36th highest ranked number. So that is how this ranking works. You've got, um, you've definitely got 36 nine digit numbers reading either left to right on the rows, right to left, up or down, down or up. And the numbers we're given outside the grid are those ranks from 1 to 36. Now, in a normal full rank Sudoku puzzle, well, in, in the first few I ever saw, you got all 36 um, digits, all 36 ranks were given outside the grid. In the UK competition one, I think about 28 of them were given, I feel. Like, the vast majority, and that's totally normal. This puzzle only has nine of those, which is bizarre. I, it seems incredible to me that Glipperal... I mean, maybe this is the point, that Glipperal has managed to create a grid with only nine full-rank clues and no given digits. Um, 
but I bet it's going to be an interesting solve. Do give it a try on the link under the video. Let's see if we find it fiddly and admin heavy or not. I've no idea. Um, but I am going to try it now, see what happens. Let's get cracking. So, okay, here's something I have learned and had to rem I didn't learn it with the first couple of puzzles like this I did. I learned it later um, and I had to remember it again for the full rank this year. Every row, column, every, each of the perimeter rows and columns obviously has each of one to nine in them. And therefore, four of these 36 nine-digit numbers will begin with one, because there must be one reading down, one reading left to right, one reading right to left, and one reading up. So those numbers that all begin with one, and they'll be the only numbers that begin with one, must be ranked from one to four. So all the ranks from one to four will begin with one, and then that's going to work all the way up through all the numbers until you get to 33, 34, 35, and 36 must begin with nine. So I think we can fill in the beginning digits of all the clued um, ranks. So one to four begin with one. Five to eight begin with two. We don't get any of those. <laughs> nine to 12 begin with three, and we don't get any of those. 13 to 16 begin with four. 17 to 20 begin with five. 21 to 24 begin with 6, 25 to 28 begin with 7, 29 to 32 begin with 8, and 33 to 36, yeah, that's right, begin with 9. So those numbers are kind of givens if you know, if you know or work out that relationship between the 36 numbers. But now, I don't want to say we're on our own, but it gets a lot harder after that. Okay, so I can see, I was wondering as we were going along, because one was the lowest of its set of four, so was 13, so was 17, and 24 was the highest, and that felt really interesting, but after that, 26 and 30 weren't lowest or highest in their sets, and I'm not sure whether that's going to be part of the solve, but this is an important row. There is a row beginning 98764. Now, where does that fit in the ranking? We don't get a number, but we can work it out. It begins with 9, so it's one of the 33, 34, 35, 36 set. But we're given 33, 35, and 36. So this is the, num the 34th highest ranked number. And that is 98764. Now, that's really interesting. That means 35 and 36 are higher nine-digit numbers. So we can write 8 here and here. Actually, this is almost the highest number it can be, isn't it? The highest number you could possibly get is 987654321. And we have to beat 98764. So I... Th well, we don't quite have to be 98765 in both cases, but we do have to begin 9876. And look how they cross in row 6, column 6, which is a 6. Um... Right, now, the next digit, I want to be a 5, but they can't both be 5s, and indeed this one can't be at all. So that is going to be a 4, but this number, rank 35, is still going to be higher than this number, rank 34. So this digit is going to be higher than this digit, because they have to be different, they're in the same column. So this one is, well, it could be a 5, couldn't it? 5, 3, or 2, and this is one, two, or three, because it has to be lower than that one. Now here, we must be able to put a five in if it's not a four. And now, it really doesn't matter how we fill the rest of this row, because we've fulfilled the requirement of it being the highest of all the ranks. Both 34 and 35 begin 98764. Actually, 33, barely worth considering, because it, it can't begin 98, so it must be the lowest of these four nine-digit numbers. Now, okay, I was going to say we barely consider row six, but I can see where one goes in it. So that's there, and we get a two, three, four, triple. So we are getting some numbers in this grid, which is nice and a little surprising. But actually, as long as we make sure that number is higher than that number, I think we're finished with this 
set of, dig of nine digit numbers beginning with nine. There's nothing else that they can contribute to our understanding because their ranking has been achieved by what we've done. And that's a little upsetting because that's the only quartet of numbers where we get multiple clues and we really know what's going on. So I don't know what to do next. Let's look at, well, let's look at one, two, three, four. Ah, ah, okay. This stuff that we just did has got very interesting because the only remaining digits to fill in this box are six, seven, eight, nine. So let's just put in the candidates as far as I can see them at the moment. Now, the important thing is that number, the, the ranking of one is going to a number which has to begin at least 168, 168 million. So ranks two, three, and four must begin one seven, well, no, one six, one seven, one eight, or one nine. It feels like it ought to be helpful, but the fact that we've got no ones anywhere else in the perimeter maybe militates against that actually working for us. But, I mean, something has to. I don't really know how we're going to... This looks like a helpful box, but it's not really doing anything for me. Um, these have to be from one, two, three, five. And so, so do these. Um, six, so the numbers beginning with, oh yeah, okay, the numbers beginning with four here, this is the lowest ranked of them. Now we do still have a number from one, two, or three that could go here. So that could easily explain the lowest rank, but actually I've just noticed that the 17 clue, which is the lowest ranked of the numbers beginning with five, also begins R. Ah, what does this mean? Okay, got something. Look at this row. So I've, I'm starting it from here. So the top row read from the right. Now this cannot begin with one or five. That's quite interesting. Yeah, I think we're onto something here. This cannot begin with one or five because the number that it would be would then have a one, two, three, four or five in the second position. And that would have to rank, if it began one something from two, three or five, that would have to rank lower than whatever this number is, one, six, seven or nine and something else. So that can't be a one because it would be ranked zero, which doesn't happen. I think the same is true for five. This begins at least five, six, so that can't begin at most five, three. And is that gonna be true for this column reading downwards? I'm pretty sure it is. Um, yeah, it is. The next number can't be higher than five, so this can't be a one. So we've got a two, three pair, and that's gonna give us a one, five pair in the top row, and now, those are numbers that begin with one and five, and the digits that follow them have to be at least a six to outrank these numbers, one and 17. And it doesn't really matter what order ranks two, three, and four are. We can work that out when we finish the puzzle if we want, and I won't bother. Or what ranks 18, 19, and 20 are. So I don't have to compare whichever one of these begins with a five with anything other than this row. And I don't have to compare which one of these begins with a one. Um, sorry, whichever one of these begins with a one, I only compare with that row. Whichever one begins with a five, I only compare with that row. I do understand that. Um, but I don't know what to do next. Twos and threes as beginnings, we have no clues. We, we're not given any outside the grid. So I don't know how I get to disambiguate those. In fact, I don't really know what's going on next. Ah, okay, these digits can't be one or five. Ah. 
Okay, where's one going in this column? Is it interesting? We'll see. It can't go there or there because that's a 1-5 pair in the box. It can't go here. Now, if you were to put a 1 here, I think you could create a row here. But, ah, yeah, it won't work. Yeah, it has to outrank this one, which begins at least 1-6-8. Well, here, you could put a 1 there and a 6 there. But you can't get to an 8 or 9 here because these cells are forbidding it. So actually that's not going to be a 1. So the 1 in this column is going to be down here. And I have a feeling this same logic is going to apply to 5s. You can't put a 5 there because that's a 1-5 pair in box 3. You can't put a 5 there by Sudoku. And if you did a 5 here, again, this is at least 5, 6, 8. And you can't achieve more than that this way. So 5's down here too. Now, I don't think we have the, the boon of knowing about these cells and their possible contents. I don't think we can ru rule one five out of the corner. Ah, well, okay. Now, I'm not certain. Not certain about this. Because... Okay, what I'm seeing now is if you did put, say, a 1 in the corner, then what digits... You'd, you'd have to make that number and that number higher than whatever this is, which is at least 168 at the beginning. So these would have to be at least 168. Now, these cells, oh, they can't be 9s or 8s. They both see a 9 and an 8. So they would have to be 6 and 7 in some order. And if you put a 1 there and a 6 or 7 here, you'd get a 5 here. Oh, you could have 1, 7, 5. And then you could have 1, 6, 8, 9 here. Oh, bother. It can work with a 1 in the corner. I thought I was going to rule a 1 and then a 5 out of the corner. OK, I think there's a more complicated reason why it doesn't work. And I, I don't know, I'm going to try this on you. I'm not 100% I'm not sure this is right. But if you did that... I'm just going to show it to you, because I think I can see this. And it has to do with, if, if you try and do this, if you try and put a 1 or a 5 in this corner, this number, these numbers have to be a 6 and a 7. This is the other one of 1 or 5, because they're both in those three cells. Now, the number, this I think has to be an 8 if you do that. And this number gets interesting. Oh, no, it doesn't, because it can have a 9 here. Oh, OK, bother. I hadn't seen that. Although it almost can't have a 9 there, because this would blow up here. Oh, this is so complicated. This is what Glipperl has done with this format. He's made it absolutely mental. I, am I missing something elsewhere in the puzzle? I could easily be. I mean, the eight clue, I'm just going to have a quick look at these eight and seven clues. The eight clue is number 30, which is the second highest of the eight rankings. I can't use that. That's not interesting. The, the seven clue is the second highest of the seven rankings. OK, the 24 clue is the highest of the six rankings. That might be a little better. But it's really not. It's so easy to put a high digit here. No, no, this is not what... OK, maybe, just maybe... The 13 one is important. Where are the fours going to be on the perimeter? The trouble is they can be anywhere. There's just no restrictions. 
I can sort of see that those cells in column 5 have to include 7, 8, 9. These are from 1, 2, 3, 6, just by elimination. And these are from 2, 3, 4, 5. But I don't think that's really helping. Oh, I suppose these are from 1, 2, 3, 6 in a similar way. These are... Somehow they're a bit less constricted because I don't have this number. These must... In no, there's nothing. They, m they must include a 1. So these are from 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I suppose this can't be a 5 because we know that 5's in one of those. And that could, couldn't be a 1. Work that out earlier. No, I don't know. That, that's not... I am thinking I'm going to have to focus on this stuff again. Which is annoying because I've kind of done quite a bit of thinking around it and not got there. Oh, Clipperall, you are a beast to me. Oh, hang on. These are from 2, 3, 4, and 6. Where does 7 and 8 go in column 1? 7 in one of those. Desperately looking around, trying to avoid having to work on these. Um, I'm probably not going to come up with anything that does it, but might as well keep thinking about this for a moment or two longer. I don't... it doesn't do any good, does it? I suppose if that was an 8, this number would begin, looking up, would begin 8, 7. and would be necessarily higher than the number coming down here. And that doesn't tell me anything useful. No, never mind. Right, back to the bottom right corner where it's all going off in this puzzle. Now, I suspect I can rule out 1 or 5 from this. Or maybe I'm meant to be able to rule out 1, 5 as a pair here, so this is 1 or 5. Then I would have some actual go forward. That's interesting. OK, why couldn't this be a 1-5 pair? Yeah, OK. Well, it would make this a 1-5 pair as well. Ooh, maybe that has got interesting. Right. If this was a 1-5 pair, which is possible, I don't think this can be a 1 because its number would necessarily... Yeah, it would be lower than this. The minimum that can be is 1, 6, 8. Although this can start 1, 6, it can't get higher than 8. So that's not a 1. I think the same is probably true of this being a 5. It is. That can't be a 5. So, in fact, no. I was going to say this is a 1, 5 pair. But I don't know that because this can still be 1 or 5. But if that's a 1, 5 pair, this isn't 1 or 5, then we get a 1, 5 pair here as well. And now this 1, 5 pair have got to outrank this 1, 5 pair of 9-digit numbers. So, yeah, that's interesting. Because this, these two numbers are going to have to be from 6, 7, 8, 9 to achieve that. And then you've got a set of 4 in each of columns 2 and 3 that are the high digits. Yeah, yeah it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Because these must be low digits. And one of these must be a 6. If you postul postulate, that feels like the right word, if you postulate that these are the four high digits, 6, 7, 8, 9 in each column, it's definitely true these are the low digits, but it's also definitely true there's only one 6 here. So there would only be one 6 here. And that's no good. There would be one 6 here. There would be at least one 6 here. There would be one 6 here. And whatever digit used that 6, whatever 9-digit number used that 6, it would begin 1, 6, small, or 5, 6, small. And that would underrank these, and that's impossible. So 1, 5 is not a pair here. So only one of these is 1 or 5, and this one is definitely 1 or 5. That is absolutely fascinating. I can tell you, I've done a lot of these um, full-rank Sudokus. I've never seen any deduction like this needed. 
And I mean, you wouldn't in a competition. It's far too hard, but it's brilliantly clever. Right. Our glipperal takes things to a higher level. That's just a given. I don't mean to be dissing whoever set the full rank in this month's competition, because it was a really good puzzle and I enjoyed it a lot. But this is it's extraordinary. And I mean, as I say, you couldn't do this in a competition. The constructor may have thought of this sort of thing. Anyway, shut up, Mark. Now, we've got a one or five here. Whichever it is, it needs a high digit in both of these. So this is the kind of logic we were thinking about before. These can't be nine or eight. They have to be a six, seven pair. This has to be one or five. I don't know how to mark that one of these is one or five. And doesn't use a six here. I don't even know if that's true, actually. So it is true. Because if either of them did use a six here... they would fall short because they'd have to have a low number in the next row of that column. Oh, well, that's quite interesting. I'm, I'm going to think about this for a moment first before I come back here. Whichever one of these is one or five needs a number that's not a six here now, that is therefore also not an eight, but it's also not a seven. It's going to be a nine. Whichever one of those is one or five has a nine above it. That's weird. Where is the six in this box going to be? Mm, don't quite know. If that's a nine, that's a six, eight pair. That uses all the high digits there. But we've still got a six to place in this column somewhere then. Yeah, OK, I don't know anymore. But that nine there has put a nine in one of those two cells which I'm certain we're going to have to find is here. Yeah, we are, because this is a digit is a nine-digit number beginning with one or five as well that has to outrank whatever we've got going on here. And the th second digit, therefore, has to be six, seven, eight, or nine, and it can't be six, seven, and it can't be eight, so that is a nine. What we, we, I mean, we're not even disambiguating one and five to do this. This is mad. It's brilliant. It's absolutely mad, but it's absolutely brilliant. I'm just going to pencil mark the rest of these cells. I have a feeling this is going to be eight, isn't it? Yeah. Whichever one of these, whether that's one or five, this is going to be low in the sense of one to five being low numbers, six to nine being high. This can't be a six because you just won't get to outrank that. So this is the seven. This is the six. And now you have to outrank one of these numbers going this way. And that is going to require an eight here. And now we do know that there's definitely a six in one of these cells because whichever one of these gets outranked by this row must begin with a six in one of those. So that has become an eight, nine pair. This has become a six, seven pair. The six will go with an eight, so we can be outranked by the bottom row. <laughs> it's incredible. It's incredible. So that's not a nine. This is a nine. Um, I'm seeing that eight, nine pair to get that. And this is the one or five that underlies the nine. Ah, oh, it's extraordinary. This is not a six now, obviously. This is not an eight. So we get to place the 8 in this box somehow. We also get to place the 7. Just seen that. That's been available for a little while. And this is 2, 3, 4, or 6. Now, along the bottom, this is a 2, 3, 4 triple. I still haven't worked. I'm, I don't know if I'm ever going to... You know, maybe it's only the very end I get to find out which of 1 or 5 are doing the job for me here. So this one is going one, six, eight, nine. So six, eight form a pair and seven, nine form a pair. That can't be five. That's probably been available forever. Oh, and if it has, that two, three pair has been available forever as well. I don't, I don't think it really matters much, but I could have done it. Now, we've got the other of two or three and seven, eight and nine to fill in here. One of these is goes 6, 8, and the other goes 7, 9. So one of these is a 7, 9 pair as well. But I don't... 
I do know in which. Do I know in which order? No, I don't, because the 168 number is going to underrank that number. OK, hang on. 9, 8 and 6 in that column makes this a 7. 8 and 7 in this one. Ooh, it makes this 6 or 9. Now, could it be 6? 9 is definitely in one of those two cells. Right. This number... The one that starts down here, they can't be six. This number is going to have a low digit here. And that means it can't outrank the number that goes seven, nine here. So it must start with the other digit. Now, how do I start marking this nonsense? This number is the one that outranks the lower start. So the lower start here that uses 6, 8 is also going in this column. So I'm going to make that the lower number, blue, and that's orange. Now up here, this is the lower number, isn't it? Because we can't outrank the one that goes something 7, 9. Yes, that's the lower number. So this is the higher number. And now I don't think that can be a 6, because the higher number goes 7, 9 here. So that's a 9. That's how I'm getting that. I've never seen logic like this. This is mad. That is a 9, 7 pair, by the way. These are from 2, 3, 8. That feels unlikely to be a 2 or a 3. I, did, I mean, I, in a competition, I would be brave enough to use unlikely in a full rank puzzle, but it wouldn't have been set with this level of precision. Um, and I didn't quite do it. This seems more likely to be an 8 to me, which would actually be quite useful, but I cannot use it yet. 8's um, in one of those cells. Oh, no, 8's in one of those, so we can place 8 in that box. That is two, three, or four. Now, come on, can we do any more with these lows and highs? This one, no, I don't know. I mean, whatever it is, nine, will definitely outranked, outrank either of those. Ah, this is such a strange puzzle. Right. Now, one of these we decided is a seven, nine pair. If it's there, that is a five, six, eight, seven, nine group, and this becomes one, two, three. And that becomes four, five, six. Nah, it doesn't really help. That could work either way around. So I'm still stuck, even at this stage. And my brain's hurting now. This is of such a weird and difficult type of puzzle. So the lower one, ah, the lower one has to underrank 6, 8, 9. That's not interesting, and it has to underrank 7. The higher one starts 1, 7, 9. I don't know, no. I mean, nothing that I've got marked threatens all of that, which is maybe a testament to the skill of my marking, but it does still mean I need to find something different to make progress in the puzzle. Maybe I need to consider these other numbers now. So, 7. We've got a 7 followed by a 2, 3, or 4 there. 7 followed by 1 or 5. 7 followed by 2, 3, 4, or 6. It's not really helpful. This 7 is 26th rank, so it's second in its class. No, it doesn't, it doesn't tell me anything. I need to know about the ones and fives. Then I could make progress. How on earth am I meant to tell? Seven, eight. I'm just going to do some pencil marking. Just to bide the time. Um, 
Okay, let's think about this. Oh no, this 13, this is the lowest of the four numbers. Well, surely that can't be 4, 8. Let's just see if we can quickly prove that somewhere. Could all three other numbers beginning with a 4 go 4, 8 or 4, 9? No, because where's 4 in the final column? It's in one of those two cells and these can't outrank an 8. So that's not an 8, so this is where 8 is in the box. Which is very unsurprising and actually not wildly helpful, although it does mean there's an 8 in one of those two. And now all we know about 6s is, is that they all have to underrank 6, 8, all the other ones, but they're all going to everywhere, so... That doesn't help me fill anything in, I don't... Oh, it, but it means this isn't a 6. Okay, well that's slightly interesting, because that means that one of these is a 6, and one of these is a 6. I don't know, might help. Uh, but after that, I think we're done with 6s. It can't, they can't really do anything for us. We looked at 7s, they weren't helpful. I didn't really look at 8s, where the 30th rank is the second of the 8s. Now we've got 8 followed by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 8 followed by 2, 3, 4, 8 followed by 2, 3, 4. And this has to rank second. I mean, I don't know how you get at that. I suppose it can't be a 1 here, because that wouldn't be a 1 and all the other three would be higher. Probably can't be a 5 here, because that wouldn't be a 5 and all the others would be lower. Okay, so we do limit this to 2, 3 or 4. It's, I mean, it's not much to go on, is it? It's not much. Sixes, we've kind of done them. I've got to sort out these ones and fives. I don't know how to do it. This lower must automatically fall below. No, it's automatically higher than the one that begins one, six, eight. Oh, there's a 2-3 pair that I hadn't seen. So that's a 1-6 pair. There was also a 2-3-4-5 quad there. But these 2s and 3 beginners, they don't tell me anything because they're just not really in the puzzle. Um, there are no ranking clues for them. Those are from 7-8-9. They're definitely high. One of these is high, but one of them is a 2 or a 3. Now, does that affect these numbers. One begins one six eight seven nine. So the other begins five or one seven nine two or three next. I honestly don't think that makes any difference anywhere. I don't think it can even. So annoyingly that is not what I'm trying to find. So there's some other, yeah, there's some other reference in this puzzle that is going to help me actually finish it. And I haven't found it, basically. Oh, this is monstrous, isn't it? Okay, I'm going to fully pencil mark because I've only got eight cells left to do. These ones include seven or nine and two or three. Oh, I don't really know what was going on here. There's a 6 in one of these, but otherwise it's just low. Oh, okay. 4 and 2 or 3. Ooh, is the lowest of the low. Okay, so this couldn't begin 4, 2. Because it would end up underranking that one. I mean, that's... That's not really a conclusion, is it? Well, unless we could find a way of saying that if this began 4, 3 and then 7 or 9, it would have to outrank something beginning with 4 somewhere else. But I just don't see how I could make that determination at this point. I mean, it might be... 
hideously, it might be something we have to come back and consider. Wow, 34 minutes. I mean, I still feel I've done an awful lot of this puzzle. I probably need one more good deduction and we're done. But that deduction could take me 15 or 20 minutes more to do. And that is just a feeling. Sudoku. Might be missing some Sudoku. Seven, eight, nine, triple there. That can be a six. These can be sixes. There's literally no bar anymore on sixes anywhere. One, six. This has to be higher. Oh. Well, maybe it's the continuation. Now, we said whichever one has a 6-8 pair at the beginning, doesn't it then have to continue 7-9 in this pairing? It does. And that's interesting. It can't continue 9, 7. It must continue 7 in that cell, 9 in this cell. Because otherwise it wouldn't underrank this one. And it is the lower number. It is the one that is underranking this. Whichever one is lower goes 1, 6, 8. And then we've just discovered it must go 7, 9, not 9, 7. Because of the fifth digit in this row. Like once or twice you do come across these puzzles needing you to look to the fifth digit, but this happens constantly in this puzzle. So, 168, we cannot have a 9 in these cells, because one of these is a 7-9 pair and has to be 7 first and then 9. So we can't have a 9 in those cells. More importantly, we can't have a 7 in these. And now this is an 8-9 pair and that's a 7. Let's get rid of the corner mark. And this is a 9. Has this done anything or not? It might not have. It really might not have. I'm getting a little overexcited. Um, all it has done is seal those two positions. And it's made this 689, which is unsurprisingly very high. And I mean, sixes were done anyway. Now, fours. This four is the lowest of all possible fours. I want to say that means this can't be a 4, but it doesn't, because if that was 427, this could be 432. That can definitely be a 4. I mean, the same sort of thing applies here. These could be 4s followed by 3s. So it hasn't really sorted anything there. So think again about 7, 9. If that's 5, 6, 7, 6, 8, 7, 9. And this is one, two, three, that's four, five, six. And this is seven, nine, something, eight. I mean, look at this deadly pattern. Madness, isn't it? Okay, well I made one more deduction and it really didn't finish the puzzle for me. So that last prediction was as bogus as anything. I mean, I could colour these twos and threes, but it doesn't seem interesting at this stage. Hmm, what on earth is going on? Excuse me if I have to get that door. I do. I didn't have to get that door. Um, six, eight, nine. Come on, come on, come on. Eight, 
And it's probably to do with fours. But this is definitely lowest. And how is that going to be undershot by anything? If that was 437. I don't know. I think it's easy to get that outranked by all the fours. So I just don't think that's interesting. Um, ah. Is it to do with this? Oh, this one five pair. I could keep colouring them. Look, that's orange. Where's the blue one or five in one of those cells? Oh, yeah, if I knew which of these, if that was a one, it would be blue. And that would be interesting because then five would be orange. Um... Where is blue up here? It's in one of those two cells. I just don't think I can link up these one fives enough. That's very frustrating. I didn't even realize though that I had an orange here. In fact, that means orange is in one of these two. Obviously that's a pair of orange and blue and that is. There's one of them there. Oh, that's another pair of orange and blue. E, it's not quite here for me. One of those is a one, one of those is a five. Can't quite link up the oranges and blues with the ones and fives that I know about. Most frustrating. So one of those is orange. Wow, why is this so mean? There's some other clue, isn't it? Is it this 30 thing? Let's try that again. Eight followed by two, three, or four, and that's the second highest of the eights, which are here, and here, and here. How do I make that the second highest? Do I have to not start it with a two? The trouble is, it doesn't impact on the other ones, and I might have to consider going to four or five digits with those. It's just highly complicated. Oh, that's not an eight. I haven't seen that. It's a two, three, four, triple. Which is a bit interesting, because it means that digit is the same as that one. Because of the two, three, four triples in that row and that row sharing two digits. I mean, that doesn't feel like that's going to go anywhere. I have to say that immediately. That digit would be in one of these two. It's, this is not worth pursuing. It's just a bit of a pipe dream. If it was four, if that one was four, it would have to be here. Let's just briefly consider what happens then. Not much, frankly. I, don't, I mean, I don't think have, this has gone anywhere. No, I mean, that's not, it's not getting any parsnips buttered. Oh, goodness. Right. Okay, it's something to do with the ones and five. I mean, I've surely squeezed the juice out of this one. That that blue six eight nine must be matched by a blue six eight seven nine up here. Ah, oh, maddening. I 
just don't know about sixes in this final column. That might be slightly interesting. But I think we've ruled out that six could be bigger than this six, eight, nine anywhere. Wow, it might be something that's so obvious that you're shouting it at the screen. I'd rather doubt it in this puzzle, but you never quite know. Um, the 26, the 7s. So that's 7, 4, 7 followed by 4, 3 or 2. This one has a 7 followed by 1 or 5. And this one has a 7 followed by 2, 3 or 4 as well. This is then the version that is second highest of the sevens. So it can't be, a, well, we knew it couldn't be a six in the next position. I wonder if it's true to say it can't be a five next. I don't think it is necessarily. Gosh, gosh, I've only just noted that two, three, four, six quad. So that one is one or five. Does that make it orange necessarily? I don't think it does because it could be blue and that could be orange. And then that would be blue. OK, but this is slightly interesting. So the 26, seven is. Have we worked out it can't be 7-5? Because it would need two other numbers higher than it to be 7 and 8. Yes, it cannot be 7-5. Oh, wow. OK, well, we're on to something. I don't think this can be 7-5. Because it would have to be outranked twice, and that one can't, and that one can't. So that is a 1. And it is not the lowest. So something else begins 7, 1, and that is the one across the bottom. Here we go. I found my deduction. I don't think it was easy, but it might get a lot done. It might get a lot done. That one much more than the other one, the other deduction that I made. Right. So 5 is the low number. So 5 goes 5, 6, 8, 7, 9 along here. So that is all done. Wow. OK, this might get a lot done. This is 7, 9, that's an 8, 2, 3 pair. So those can't have 2 or 3 there from 4, 5, 6. Wow. So 1 is orange. That's also happened and is a thing. Um, let's just keep colouring that just in case. And in fact, we can colour all the other ones. And that must be the last orange and is a one, which is interesting. That's a five. That's not. This now becomes a four. This is Sudoku. Hurrah. Five is blue. I don't know if it's going to really be worth colouring the blues because I think I might have done all the fives. No, I haven't. I've got one in there. Oh, I don't know. I've got one in here. Right, let's think about these seven ones, because this one has to be higher than this one, which is ranked 25. Well, that's unsurprising, unfortunately. In fact, even if this is a two, it is going to be ranked higher than this one, because this must... No, not true. If that's a two, this is a three or four. OK, so it's not a 2 here, but that's all I know. Oh, and I haven't finished my blues. I'm not done. This is annoying. May I don't know. Maybe I need to go through. This is where the fiddly admin bit comes in finally. I'm going to have to go through the various ranks. So number 1 starts 179. Isn't that incredible? And then the others are 1, 9, 1, 9, and 1, 9. It doesn't matter how they continue. Never mind the 2s and 3s. Now the 4, this is the lowest. 4, 2, or 3, 7. Look, this is a 4 in this column, isn't it? That's where it has to be. And in fact, I can place 6 in the box. Oh, there is more Sudoku to do. So we've got a 4, 7. That's unsurprisingly going to be higher than this. So 
Is it worth carrying on the red colouring? I don't think so. No. Um, so 689 has to be higher than all the other six. I think we resolved that already. It is, yeah. 7, 1. This is second highest. So that digit is higher than this digit. And then the other sevens are definitely higher than seven one. Where's the other one up there? Yeah, okay. So they're done. Now the eights, this is the second highest eight. Oh, that's interesting. Right, let's just yellow where all the eights begin. Oh gosh, how do we ensure this is the second highest of the eights? That is very difficult to ensure. This could be eight. I don't know, even if that was a four, this could work. Oh, it would be quite, oh, it can't be a four. There's a four there. So that is two or three. And this is the second highest of the eights. That's not a one. That's not a one. Just some pencil marking I hadn't done. Now, can I do anything with these eights? That would be nice. One of those is a six. That's not a six. That's not a six in this row anymore. Oh, just Sudoku pencil marking. But I mean, honestly, my brain is fried from doing all the other logical stuff. Don't blame me for that. Please, that's a six and that's not. Now, Might as well mark the remaining fives in blue just because they are somewhere. Yeah, you see down here, I actually learn where the five is in box eight from doing that. It's here. That's interesting. I didn't have that information before. Then I'm left with an X-wing of fives. All right, so I'm thinking about these eights. That is... Oh, it's time to colour the twos and threes, isn't it? There's quite a lot of them. Let's get rid of the red. In fact, let's get rid of the red and yellow. Although, I don't, oh, I'm going to leave the eights as yellowed because they're the beginnings of the eights and they, I need to keep focus on them. Let's colour twos and threes in bright green and bright blue. Bright green, bright blue. Bright green, bright green, bright blue. That must be bright blue. It's not a four. Bright green is one of those two. That's bright blue. That's bright green. That's bright green. Yeah, this is interesting. Bright green's in one of those. Oh, okay, can I not carry on? Maybe it doesn't matter. Let's see what we've got. So these are the same. Oh, I want to find out what these are. So this is the second highest. It has to be lower than that number because the third digit is a six and the third digit after bright green is not a six, it's lower. So this is lower than that, which is rank 31 or 32. So of these two, one needs to be higher and one lower than this one. It's not easy to determine what's going on there. Is that easy? It doesn't feel easy. Oh man, is it coming down to the, what about sevens? Did I ever resolve sevens? That is lower than that. I found that out. That's all I had left to do on sevens. Yeah, I did resolve them apart from that. I had forgotten that conclusion though. You never know. That might come back and bite you. Um...
Right, can that be bright green? Then it goes here and here, and then it's finished. Alternatively, that's bright green. And then it's also there and there. And what about light blue or bright blue? That's in one of those two. But I don't really have any information for columns one, two, three. Oh my goodness, this is still holding out. 56 minutes, what a puzzle. Um, which digit is it? Is it the eights? This has to be the second. It's definitely lower than that. Let's cross that out. This has to be in the middle of that one and that one. So if that was a two with a three, four or five there, Well, if it was eight, oh, this couldn't be the same. This can't be the same number as that. The only way for it to be lower than that is if this is a two. Then this goes eight, two, five. That goes eight, three, five. This has to be higher than eight, three, five, and would have to be eight, four, something. And that would make this a four, which it might well be. Now, what was the alternative is that this begins eight, three. Or no, I was saying this would be a 2 and that would be a 3. That's the only way it's lower. Yes, that's what I was doing. Now the alternative is that this is 8, 2. Then we have to find a lower one somewhere else. But I think that could be done in either place. Because if that's 8, 2, 5... Oh, this couldn't be a 2. The lower would have to be here then. This would have to be a 2. So this can never be a 3. That's weird. I don't even know if I trust that logic. It feels like it's right, but I got a bit confused, so I'm not risking it. But I think this is what we're meant to be looking at now. This is crazy times. How could Glipperl have compiled this puzzle? It's just mad. This is why he is such a feared name. I mean, I'm literally not done at this point. Maybe I should be. Maybe it's all straightforward. OK, I was going through all the ranks. So we got to four, and I think we were OK. That was four, two, or three. That must be lower than the four from the bottom row. Ah. Ah, OK, this is worth considering. One of these is a four. If that's a four, it's fine. That's definitely higher. But if one of these is a four, I don't know, maybe the conclusion I'm coming to is if that's four, three, seven, no, it doesn't work. I, I can't do anything with that. I could still be coming back to the four conclusion later, which is painfully annoying. We've done the fives because we know where they all begin. Sixes is what I've been thinking thinking about that's no six eight we've done those <clears throat> it's sevens this is the second highest seven so that number is higher than that that's all we get from this so if that was a five that's three or four and that's two or three eights it's got to be about eights it's got to be about eights and this one is definitely lower than this. So it's, this one is lower than one of these and higher than the other. It all depends on whether bright green is a two or a three. How am I meant to know?
I don't know how I'm meant to know. And it all depends. Oh my goodness. Is there some obvious way of knowing? Four and five, are there. there must be some Sudoku or something. Five. Those two I worked out were the same, but they could be bright green or they could be four. If they were four, Then I get fours in two of those positions. That just doesn't seem helpful. My goodness. It's got to be about eights. It's got to be. Right, if green is three, no, if it's hardest, if it's two. If green is a two, that has to be the lower one. So that's another two. And this goes eight, two, four, but that has to be lower than this one. What does it go? Eight, two, four, seven, three. And this therefore, and that's lower, but this could still be a four or a five. That's so annoying. So if, if, if bright green is a two, that's not a two. So this has to be the lower version, which will be eight, two, four, seven, three. And this is a two, come on, what does this do? How do I try and visualize it? I think this is the difficult version. It probably doesn't work. So this is if bright green is a two. So my bright greens are here, here. And here, sorry, and here. And they're twos. That is quite interesting because this has become a four, this has become a four, this becomes a four, this number is eight, two, four, seven, three, this one has to be higher, but we've pushed five into this cell and this cell, so this must be eight, two, four, seven, six. So in that case, we've got twos in those cells, which I will just color red. Then that becomes a four. And this now has to be a four because to get the number lower, higher, higher than the number reading up column seven, that has to be a four. So then fours are ending up in these positions. Now, what the heck is the problem with that? Eight two four seven six eight two four seven three. Then you end up with light blues in. <laughs> I don't know. This is so complicated. You end up with light blues in row nine, column three. row six, column two, and row three, column one. And I don't see the problem with that. Ah, oh, am I missing some totally blindingly obvious big number somewhere? I think I'm coming at this in the most complicated way. It's probably where the cursor is. Where is the cursor here on that one or that two? Well, it can't be that. It could be. So this is the lowest four. If that was four, three, this would be a four, three, seven, eight, nine number. Now the other fours have to be higher and that's only difficult. I don't think it is difficult at all. One of these is a four. 
Well, that one couldn't be higher. That's interesting. Okay. If blue is a th if bright blue is a three, four is in one of those two cells. Is there a reason it can't be here? Where would bright blue be if it's a two? This might be worth pursuing. So if, if bright blues are two, this begins eight three low, and this begins eight three six, so that's higher. Now one of these has to be lower and one higher than eight three, whatever that is. And we're postulating that bright blue is a two. Yes, we are. Are we? I can't remember what we were doing. Bother, 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 bother. No, it's probably harder for this to be a three, for this to begin four, three, seven, eight, nine. So let's postulate that bright blue is a three. Yes, that was it. So this can't begin with a four. That's not four. Red is not four then. So that's not, that is four and that's four. And that's four. And the trouble is that has made it all work fine for fours. Right, maybe I can just say red can't be a four. Is that possible? Because would this automatically be lower? The only, okay, if red was a four, this has to be lower than that. This then has to be 427 and that has to be 432. So then blue becomes 2 and is in these positions. And red is a 4. Yeah, so that has to become 2. And that's 2. And that's two. Then we've got all these twos in. And there's nowhere for four in box eight. My God. I think that works. So if red is four, these reds, which we've proved to the same digit. Have I proved that? I think I have. I've labeled them red for some reason. Why have I labelled these red? I can't remember why I labelled them red. Have I proved they're the same digit or have I absolutely not? Well, I can't have proved they're the same digit because then I'd know that wasn't a five. I don't know why I've labelled them red. That's so they were red. Oh, bother. They were red for some reason to do with if something was something. That's where some digit would end up. Ow, oh, blast. Sorry. I don't know what to do and I'm not finding out. All I know is if that's not a three, <laughs> that can't be a four. I mean, if that is a three, that can't be a four. That's not even, yeah, it is true. It is true because that would be a lower row. But that is not a useful finding, because I don't know that that's a three. Oh. Is it obvious? What am I missing? The ones are done. Twos and threes are no use. Fours, I mean, that's what we're considering at the moment. Fours are almost certainly going to be fine. Because whatever that is, is fine from the right and looking up. It's only from the left where you might have some trouble there or there. And even then, you wouldn't immediately have that trouble. I mean, maybe, just maybe I could rule out that being bright blue on the basis of fours. 
but I suspect I couldn't, and I suspect even if I could, it wouldn't actually help. Oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. Um, that is not... Okay, so if that was a four, which is fine, we get a four here and a four here. I mean, fours are not a problem then, but it takes them out of the picture to an extent. Then this becomes bright blue down here at row nine, column three. What does that do? It doesn't do anything. It doesn't help. I'm so stuck, it's painful. I really want to get through this. Especially having got this far. And I mean, it's been so clever. It probably is still clever. It's just, I cannot see the way through. I know that number is bigger than that. That is such a tiny thing to know. And I know this comes in between these two. If only that meant they had to, I mean, those two do have to be different numbers, but they could either of them be the same digit as this, which is what makes that very frustrating issue. So if this was a five, with that being a five, it's how to resolve the five X wing, perhaps, then this is the bigger eight than this, and this has to be the smaller one than this. What does it do, though? That's if this is a five, and that's a five. It doesn't tell me anything about where light blue is. It does, it does. It tells me that light blue's in one of those cells. But still, uh, there would be an X-wing on light blues. This would be the higher. I don't know. If this is two, that must be higher. Yes, this is the one to work on. If this is two, that's a two. And this has to be a lower number. Eight, two, four, seven, three, five, it goes. And that has to be lower than this one. So... This is if this is a two, and this is light green, and that's light green, and that's a five. What happens then? I mean, this is this must be the case that doesn't work. This must be the case that doesn't work. I know I've looked at it before, but it must be the case that doesn't work. So if bright green is two, it has to be there by Sudoku. So it's there and there. That's all the bright greens. And they're all twos. So the light blue is three, obviously. And these are fives, they're out of the way. Um, so light blue is now here in box seven. How am I going to mark that? And light blue is the two. I mean, it places all of those. And does it sabotage it in some way. I can see where all the light blues would be in that case. I've highlighted the green. Yeah, the light blues are threes, aren't they? I hope I said that, the, the, because we're postulating that the light green is two. So the light blue is three. You definitely get a four down here and a four there. The fours are fine. They're not messing anything up at all. The 
don't think, even though that's become 437. What's happened to the 8s? We've got an 8, 2, 4, 7, 6. And an 8, 2, 4, 7, 3 undershooting it there. That's exactly what we need. That's fine. I mean, it's complicated. 8, 2, 4, 7, 6, 3, 5. That works fine. I mean, that seems like it might well be the answer because I don't see how that can possibly fail to deliver a correct solution. But on the other hand, I don't see how light green being a three doesn't have quite a lot of possible solutions to it too. This is extremely difficult and painful. And my brain is melting now literally, not literally, but figuratively melting. As some number that I just haven't seen matters. There can't be, I've gone through everything. It's all about eights and very slightly. So, okay, what happened to this green column? We had a five up there and a light blue down there. That's fine. That That is exactly what we need to make this work. Green works fine. I mean, seven works fine. There's, there's no problem with that. Four seems to work fine. So, I mean, on that basis, I could make bright green too and I could finish the puzzle and it would seem to work, but... It just doesn't rule out for me. Okay, so if bright green is 3, what, what else is happening then? Bright green is 3. So you've got 8, 3, something here. And that has to be in the middle of a higher and a lower in these cells. If it was 835, I don't know, that could be 825 or 845, one of which is higher and one of which is lower. I don't see how green, green being 3 restricts anything. Now well, maybe it does, maybe it does, because that is necessarily lower than that. One of these would have to be lower than the 8, 3, whatever, 2, 4 or 5 number. If that was 8, 3, 2, that would be higher, that would be 8, 4 or well, 8, 5 something. This would have to be lower. And that would have to be a 2 or a 3. So that would become a 4. So if, is that right? If green is 3, that becomes a 4. And if green is 2, well, this might be right. If green is 3, I think this is going to become a 4. Let me just work that out again. Definitely, if green is 2, that's 8, 2, and this is 8 something higher. This has to undershoot, that has to be a 2, and that will become a 4. So that's definitely a 4 if green is 2. Now, if green is 3, did I really just work out that that's still a 4? Let's see. 8, 3. Um... Um, 
either 8, 3, 5, in which case that's a 5. Yeah, how could that not be a 4? Maybe that's the way to look at it. And green be a 3. So that would be green. That would be green. Green 3 would be in those positions. Come on, come on, keep thinking. It's hard, but keep thinking. Then five would be in those two. I think I've looked at this exact thing before. Um, so we're postulating that green is a three and red is a four. Eight, three, we've got a five here. Oh, that's become eight, five, three, which is definitely higher than this. But this starts 8, 3, 4, 7, the, the column 7 one. This now has to be higher than that. And yet not as high as 8, 5 something. So this has to be higher than 8, 3, 4, 7, 2. And this becomes 8, 3, 4, 7, 6. So it is possible, but it requires a 4 here, which is going to put a 4 here and a 4 here, and here, and why, why the heck is that not possible? No, 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 I'm saying I'm saying if that's not a 4, aren't I? I think this is going to have to be a 4. That was a 4 if this was a 2. If it's a 3... So I'm trying to put a 4 here and make this a 3. So the 8, 4 thing is definitely higher than the 8, 3. This has to be lower. That has to be at 2. Then these are 5s. Oh, this is quite interesting. This might do it. So this is a 4 if green is a 2. That's what I've worked out. But if green is a 3, how could this be a 4? if green is a 3. This is 8, 4 something, and green is, of this column 2 down is obviously lower. So column 8 across has to be lower still. And then that's a 5 and that's a 5. And it's 8, 3, 5. This has to be 8, 2, 5. So you end up with a 4 here, and that becomes a 4. And that is a 4. And that's a 4. Has that done something to 4s? I don't think it has, because this is working on this being... F oh! What's happened to 2? Right, I'm postulating that this is a 3. And that's a 4. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to look at it. I think this is not going to work. I can... S Feel this is not going to work in box one, but let's look at those greens being threes. These blues are obviously twos in that in that scenario. Now I'm saying, what if this isn't a four? So that's a four. And I mean, this whole thing now, this has to be in the middle of that, which is clearly higher. 
um, and this one, which therefore has to be lower, and that has to be a 2. And I think I have seen that there's a problem. We get these 5s, that's a 4, that's a 2, and there's nowhere for 2 in box 1. That's what I did see. So that doesn't work. And the reason it doesn't work is because I was postulating green being a 3, and that's still not being a 4. We worked out if green's a 2, this red one is a 4. And we've just worked out, and I've been able to look ahead and see it, that just, that if green is a 3, that now has to still be a 4. And there's the answer. That is a 4. And that's giving me a 4 in this box. And a 4 in this box. And I mean, 4s are all fine. 4s have behaved themselves. And uh, that is now the lowest for whatever. This has become bright green because it's two or three. That's become blue. That's become blue. Um, bright green is now here, isn't it? Yeah, that sees green and blue. So that's a five. Ha ha. Okay, I'm counting this. I'm counting it as a win. I don't care what you think. Unless you've found a much easier way to do the puzzle, in which case I do care what you think. But we are trying to do these ourselves, and sometimes they're very hard. And that often happens when the name Glipperal is on a puzzle, in my personal opinion. Um, four, four. This is coloured. This is blue. Right. So I'm not finished. But I'm getting there now. So I've got everything done except twos and threes now. Yes, come on. So this eight green four is in the middle of, well, no, eight green four seven six, eight green four seven low. It's definitely higher than that one. And it's definitely lower than this one. So this has to be higher. It is higher. Oh, bother, that's done. It's not eight that's going to resolve it. How is that possible? Seven, one, five. That is now higher than this, which is what we needed it to be. How am I still in doubt? I mean, I don't... Probably asked in about the fifth minute how I was ever going to resolve two and threes, and here we are still stuck with them. What resolves twos and threes? Okay, let's do it again. Six, sixes were done. Fives were done, weren't they? Five, six, eight, five, seven, something. Five, six, eight, higher. Yeah, fives were done. It's all about sevens and eights. Now, sevens, we've got seven, one, five, and that's higher than this, which is rank 25. Sevens are done. So it's all about eights. But surely I'm done, because eight green, four, seven, six, low, or eight green, four, seven, six, is higher than eight green, four, seven, low, which is rank 29. And eight green six is definitely higher, and eight five anything is higher. So eights are done. Wow, okay, so I've missed something very clear. I don't know what it is, and I'm still stuck in that position. How does one of these work and one of them doesn't? I do not get it. Okay, so I'm going through all the ranks in order now. So number one is 179. The next, the other ones go 191919. Never mind about the twos and threes. I'm not given any information. Let's go to the fours. Four blue 789 versus 49, 45, and 47. They're all higher. The fives, I've done this before, but never mind. We've got a five, six, which is the lowest to go with a five. Okay, five, six, eight, seven, nine is lower than five, six, eight, nine. It's also lower than anything that begins five, seven. That's fine. The sixes, six, eight, nine has to be the highest. It's higher than that one. Uh, 
and that one, and that one. No problem with the sixes. The sevens. Seven one five nine has to be the second highest seven, and it's definitely higher than that one, lower than that one, and lower than that one. The eights. Eights. Right, this is the second highest of the eights. The lowest is here. Eight green four seven low. That's the second highest. Eight green four seven six. Eight green six is higher, and eight five something is definitely higher. And in the nines, please don't be about the nines at this point. We've got nine six the lowest. Then 98764. That's it. 987. This was the thing at the very beginning. Ow, it's in the nines. I'm a numpty, numpty, numpty man. And this video is twice as long as it needs to be because very, very early on, I very early on, one of the very first deductions, I established that this number 34 is lower than this number 35 and green is therefore lower than blue, and that would have really helped everything. And there we go, we're done. What a ridiculous uh, solution is correct. What a ridiculous fool to forget that. Vital, vital deduction. Oh, I don't know how you can stand to watch a video like this. I made that deduction early on, I said it early on, I forgot it. I didn't believe we had anything left to resolve about the nines, I'm so sorry. Oh. oh, everything turning to ashes. But that is the solution. Sorry, Glipperal. It wasn't that bad at all. I could pro... Let's just go back. Let's go back. I mean, this is like the apology video coming straight after the video to where I worked out round the houses that that was a four. All I needed to know was that this was higher than this. Uh, is that the right way around? No, this is row 34. That is lower than this. So these greens I immediately know are twos, even at this point, and probably before it. And these are threes. Oh, what a numpty. Hang on, hang on, what have I done there? I somehow overwrote a nine. Right, these blues are threes. Oh, I don't like myself sometimes. And now I just need to work on the eights from this position and it's going to be far, far more straightforward. So the eights, this one is the second highest and we know it goes eight, two. Wow, I mean, isn't it interesting? There was a way of getting it the other way around without, without well, there was a way of getting down to the twos and threes without knowing about that but it's embarrassing still. Um, now, that's not a three. So the eights we've got, that is now lower than that. And it's necessarily lower than that. So it has to be higher than this one, and that is therefore a two. And I mean, that's relatively straightforward. Eight, two, four there. So this can't be, an eight. in fact, eight, two, four, seven, three. Yeah, this can still be four or five at that point, but We've now just got some ordinary eliminations that just tidy everything up, frankly. Yeah, there we go. Exactly the same solution. Far, far quicker. Wow. Sorry, Glipperal. Sorry to you guys for making you sit through that. But sometimes that is how life solving goes in Sudoku. Embarrassing as it is, I will still publish this video. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you soon on the channel for a shorter one. Bye for now.